So this is the new third generation Amazon Echo Show 10. It's been about two years since Amazon updated their 10 inch Echo Show. And today we're gonna unbox it, take a first look at it and see what's different. So this new third generation one has basically an all new design. It's got like a tablet looking type screen on the front of it. It's got a motorized mechanism built inside it and a few other features that we'll dive into in our first impressions here on unboxing. If you are interested in purchasing one, I'll leave an affiliate link to Amazon down in the description below. And guys, if you're new here, my name is Michael. Be sure to subscribe. I'm putting out new tech videos every single week. Let's jump right into the unboxing here and see what we get inside. So here we have the box for the actual Echo Show third generation, uh, 10 inch version at least. Quickly look at the side here. We can see a few of the features that this does offers. Feel free to pause here if you want to take a closer look. Otherwise, I want to open this thing up and see what we get inside. So it looks like we have uh, some literature here. Let's see what we get. So there's a bunch of literature here that I don't really want to, I don't really want to go through all this. Let's just quickly see. Well, this might be interesting to some people. So it kind of tells you a rundown of um, some of the, the ports and, and uh, buttons on the actual device itself. More information about their privacy, how to plug it in. We'll take a look at all this kind of kind of later on and when we set it up. So there is another piece of paper in here. We'll take a look at this in a second. This is kind of important. I'm gonna set this off to the side for now though. Then we have some important information. It's probably not that important. So let's not talk about that. So let's actually set this off to the side and see what else we get. Looks like we have, so it looks like this is just the actual power adapter to power the Echo Show itself. And then the last thing we have inside there looks to be the actual Echo Show itself. So let's see if we can take this out. And there it is. Looks like it has a screen protector on it and some stuff on the bottom here. So here's a closer look at the actual Echo Show third generation itself. You can see here I can swivel it around. I'm actually not even sure if I'm supposed to be doing that or if you're supposed to let the motor do it itself. Uh, you can also tilt it up and down here. Let's go ahead and take this, uh, I guess, protector off of the actual screen itself. And there you can guys can kind of see me filming and you can also see some of the um, the, the hardware on the actual Echo Show itself. So we do have a 13 megapixel camera here. Uh, this will actually hide that camera so you can use your, you can, if you're concerned about privacy, you can, you can cover up the camera. And I believe this is a small cutout for, I want to say a microphone. On the top of the device here, we again have that camera privacy protector. So orange means it is protected. Your volume up and down switches here and then a microphone mute button. And then on the back of it here, here's where the actual speakers are built in. So it's actually quite small. It's a little smaller than a, an Apple HomePod, for example. It almost kind of looks like a squished down HomePod. And if we set it face down here, we have some plastic that we can take off. And then we also have the part to actually plug in the, the power cable itself, and then a little hole there to run the cord through. So let's go ahead and plug this in now so you guys can get a better look at that. So we can simply just plug it in like that and then the cord runs through that uh, that lip or that hole, I guess you could say. So this kind of like I mentioned earlier is a, a little important here. Um, basically to summarize, this is the, the radius where the actual new Echo Show is gonna be able to spin. So the idea here is that you'd uh, put the Echo Show in the middle or you'd, you'd, you'd have the center of where you want the Echo Show right there. And then you'd make sure that there's nothing around it within this area of the piece of paper. Now, I'm not gonna read everything it has on the wall, but in summary, that's basically what it says. So you can't place this near or against a wall unless you were to actually adjust the motion of which it can move. You obviously don't want to put something where it could knock over. So not near any sort of flower plants that might have water in them or anything like that. So kind of an important piece of paper just to make sure you're not going to bump anything when you have your new Echo Show up and running. So first thing it looks like it's asking us here is just a language. I'm going to hit English. So now it is going to connect to our Wi-Fi after we entered in our password. And now we actually need to sign in with our Amazon account. So you enter in your email and password here or your phone number. So now it's going to register our Amazon device with our account. And now your name should pop up. You're just going to have to accept the terms and conditions. In other words, sign your privacy away. <laughs> and of course, let's select our time zone here. We'll do North America and our region is the United States. I am in central time and we will hit continue. Now it's actually going to ask you for your address. So be sure you have your address correctly entered in here. And here you can actually select what room your Echo Show is going to be in. So I'm in my office. I'm going to select office there and I'm going to call it Michael's Echo Show. Let's do it. I don't know, third generation. Here's where you can actually choose your wallpaper. You can do your own photos through Amazon photos. I'm actually just going to let's just do seasonal and see what that does. Now from here, we should almost be done at this point. We're just going to install some updates and then we should be able to use our new Echo. OK, so the Echo Show has has finished updating and now we're getting a question here that where is your Echo Show placed? So right now I kind of just have it, I guess, on an island. So I'm going to click that and see what it does here. All right, so let's preview how far it rotates. I assume this is going to start spinning now. Some thrilling content right here. Oh, it's coming back. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that, that was kind of cool. Let's see what it says here. It says, this shows how far your device will rotate. You can slide the endpoints if you'd like to adjust it. So basically, if you don't want it to rotate, um, I guess 180 degrees or 360 degrees, you can change that up here. So it'll only rotate so much. So I'm just going to hit save and then we'll see what else this does. So it says, now you can use the slider to set the ideal position 
this is where your screen will face when not in use. I'm just gonna leave it where it is right now. I'm actually just gonna adjust this so that it's more center with our camera. So let's hit next here. So here we get into some of the privacy concerns that Amazon has. Amazon Sidewalk, um, you can choose to enable this if you want. I'm gonna disable it. Not even, I'm not gonna go into detail on what this is. Feel free to do your research outside of this video. Let's hit disable though and see if we can start using our new Echo Show. Now they're asking me if I want Amazon Music. No, thank you. So now we're finally set up here. It takes a little bit while to set up uh, this actual device because of the updates we had to go through. It probably took about 20 minutes in total. But there you have it. The new third generation Echo Show is now set up and you can customize it to your liking. So there you guys have it. The unboxing of the new third generation Echo Show 10. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are thinking about picking this up or not. I'll be testing this out over the next couple of days. Eventually I'll post a full review video. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. I do still have the second generation uh, Amazon Echo Show 10 that came out in 2018. So I'm thinking about doing a comparison video just between the um, the changes that have been made. It's mostly design changes here, but let me know if you guys would want to see something like that in the comments below. You know, one of the reasons I even decided to get this Echo Show 10 is that I have a lot of HomePods in my house right now. and. Apple doesn't do voice recognition uh, as well as I think they could. Now, the only other voice assistance device that we have in the house is that second generation Amazon Echo Show that I was just talking about. So I'm kind of excited to get back into the Echo Show world uh, of things, basically. They just seem to have a little bit better voice assistance. So I'm excited to have this one up in my room here and test it out for you guys. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.